he's playing with such a smile on his face because he knows he's, he's one of the focal points now. And as an attacker, if you know your manager trusts in you, believes in you, and is going to give you the opportunity week after week after week, regardless of how well you've played or, or badly you've played, that builds a level of confidence up. And, and you can see he's playing with it now. Five goals under the new manager. There's many more to come. Speaking of the new manager, that was actually his first win. I mean, what mm. a time and what a place to do it. Yeah, I think as well, it's a reward for sticking, because I'm not, not mistaken, I'm just going through my stats now. I think Brighton have had one of the most consistent starting 11s, especially under this manager, of all the teams in the Premier League. So he obviously believes in what he's got and thinks he's going to turn right. Well, when you get a massive result against Chelsea, then you'll turn around and say, well, this is what I expect every week. And I think, like he was saying there, the fact that the fans got behind him, everything was perfect tonight. The, the trick is now to go and repeat that in the next match. Yeah, and of course, they'll hope they can build on this because, as you just alluded to, a lot of the story of Brighton's season follows on from last season where mm. they're, they're having so many attempts and shots on goal, but the end product has not been there. But mm. today it was a different story. It was indeed. And, um, you know, the, the, the goal scorer is something that we've, we've spoken about before and said they haven't got an out-and-out -out natural goal scorer. But when you've got players that are able to, to work for each other, rather than just having one superstar in a team, sometimes that, is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes that is actually better because the threat comes from multiple areas. That's exactly what we've seen there. Fantastic.